Hey guys, what's going on here? It's Franchise Guy and with another episode simulation series. Uh, of consideration, I actually decided that it would be best not to live stream this or the Cardinal Sim. Uh, being that I did already take down a lot of people's uh, requests for recruits for this series, so no real sense in live streaming something like this. I do have a plan to live stream something in the future, um, but that'll be a little surprise. Um, so let's, you know, without further ado, let's go into the off season of this sim series. Now, again, to recap, we did lose our bowl game to number three, Baylor. If you didn't see that episode, check it out. We did win the uh, the conference there. Original, original Rufkin getting the job done. Coaching Carousel, uh, we'll go into it, but I, I don't anticipate accepting another job. Uh, let's view contract. No, that's not what I want. Uh, skip to my next offer, I guess. We'll do that. Wow, USC is considering us. They've already hired Arkansas State. Now, we're going to stay with the current contract no matter what. Speed this up. There's no sense. We're staying with Temple for this until a, a national title is reached. At which point, the series will probably be over. Um, unless we decided jump ship to another team. I don't know. Who knows? But we will take a look at some of the coaching changes. This episode may end up being a little longer than the others. That is fine. Hopefully not too long. The off seasons in this are pretty quick to get through. Just a matter of the simulation taking pretty much forever, but we'll get it done. All right, offensive coordinator has nine upgrades. That means we got a new offensive coordinator. All righty. So what I'm going to do is we're going to look at our team or our conference, see what has happened in it. A few people, the whole staff at UConn was fired, which is pretty much everything. That was everything. We had contracts expire on offensive and defensive coordinator, so we have some new coaches. Uh, let's take a look in the NCAA at the head coach changes real quick. Okay, so Anderson leaves for another job. Lane Kiffin takes over. Fired. Alzon's fired. Grode takes over. Another fire. Another fire here. And a fire here. Let's see if anyone famous fire. Fire. They fired Trino. Fired. Fired. Stoops. North Kentucky is fired. Another one. There's North Texas. Left for another job. Fired at UCF. Fired at USC. Fired at USF. Okay, so there you go. There you have it. There's your coaching changes. Let's see if we have any players leaving that aren't supposed to. Pro draft. You got Jahad Thomas and Deion Dawkins projected to make the pro draft. PJ Walker, our best player leaving. Not entering the pro draft. And we have no transfers. So that's not bad. There's nothing we can do. Let's just go to the next stage. We, I don't have my 20. 25's a little outdated. So we'll continue on. Let's see draft results. All right, third and seventh round. Good to see. Guys from Elizabeth and Rawway, New Jersey. Not far from where I live. Not far at all. 
We have no transfer requests, so that makes the stage pretty easy. Let's continue. Alrighty. We're in a recruiting battle here. This is big. We have to win some of these. Gem. He's a guy I'd like to grab, but man, being that far out, uh, I did not organize this board as well as I should and do in most series that I do, or dynasties that I'll do. So let's organize it just a tad before we continue. There's a lot of junk here. I even scout some of these guys. Um, we're never going to get that guy. Ball, we got a shot. Is he any good? No, he's horrible. I wasted points checking him out. Um, no. Alright, never mind. Lucas. Could be a gem. Let's see. Nah. He's not that good. I'm more interested in these gems we have. Never scouted Zach Pleasant. He's not good. So we're going to back off Zach Pleasant. Completely backing off him. Alright, we're basically going to focus on... Sean Thornburg. I want him. Gotta figure out if SC actually wanted him. Alright, let's see. We'll put two grand on him for the time being. Same with Barnes. Oh, I never even offered him a scholarship. That's a mistake. We did that. Oh, never offered him one. There we go. We did that. We'll put two grand on Barnes. Okay, Parrish. I offered him one already, so let's throw two grand here. Robert Rich, that's a problem. There's another guy. We'll throw two grand. You know what? Let's throw two grand at him. Pretty comfortable with two grand. Let's max max rich out. That's all we have is 17 to 50. We'll never get him. We'll never get him. Let's let's back off. Let's do Do a little Corey Wright. Just throw like a grand on him. And maybe, no, not these guys, sorry. I'll get off him one, okay. Right, I'm not some of these, I don't know. What we've gotten so far, it's not good. I need Brian. He isn't good enough. Take him out. Ball. He's terrible. Bowser. He's worth it. There we go. Give him everything we got. I don't want McNair. Carter, I don't want Flores, I don't want Nick Wolves, or 
Garcia were actually in the lead, so maybe we get them. Maybe we don't. At least we're only a few behind there. We're in the lead here. We're in the lead here. Better. Kim, this guy's not coming here. Ooh, he might actually. I don't know if Gatewood's gonna come. Rich, I'll leave him there, but I don't think he's coming. I think I'm only gonna throw like 1750 at this guy. Parrish, he needs the 2000. He needs it, and he needs it. I think we're up enough on Mills. I don't know. Or you're right, nobody seems to really be going after him. I'm gonna throw 750 and hope he comes. And Bowser's getting the rest. Try to make our last push at getting some 70s in here. Oh, there go it has gone through we're now level 11 let's see the commits Ooh. we didn't get barely anybody we tried to get that was that's a bad off season it's actually a bad recruiting season That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. See, it would have been bad if I live streamed this. That would have been horrible. All right, let's see where we went wrong. All right, Corey Wright should have came here. We got robbed. He should have came here. We got robbed. Thirty-seven twenty-five on Sean Thornburg. Doesn't give me the. No. Ugh, that's upsetting. Wow, 42. We would have never had a shot. Everybody put max, 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 max points into some of these guys. We lost on that, but I didn't really go for him. I didn't really go for him either. Him I didn't care about. That sucks, because I actually made a last ditch effort at Bowser. 1370 off. Somebody put over 2000 in. Rich, we weren't gonna get. Gatewood, we weren't gonna get. I didn't really try to get him. Alright, so all in all, this is all we got all year. Let's see where our recruiting class ranks. It's 47th. That's one of my worst recruiting classes that I've ever had. So. We need to do better. Just need to do better. Fortunately, that is bad. I can't say too much about it. We're just bad. All right, let's see what kind of positions change here. No athletes, so. We start off that way with no athletes. So. Let's see, we do have a freshman couple of freshmen here at quarterback. He's basically just a quarterback, so we'll leave him where he's at. Super freshman running back. 
hoping we can redshirt him without getting in trouble. We'll see if it's possible. Any of these guys, none of these guys can play fullback, or tight end, or anything. These guys aren't particularly great. This guy's a 66. He's a four-star player. And he's not even that good. And he can't play anything else. That's not cool. Well, he'll be red-shirted for sure. A Juco. He can't play anything else. Or these guys can play anything else, so they're gonna be basically what they are. Nobody can go to tight end. Although they're not very good receivers. We get a 60 out of a senior there, but it isn't really worth it. Alright, so we got what we got there. Let's try and reshuffle the line around like I normally do. Nobody's gonna beat the senior for the. You know what? He should really be the left tackle. No one's gonna beat the senior out, so we'll do the next two guys, which are the two juniors. We can anchor that side. They can have the true freshman bust over there. And then they can throw this senior back over to the other side. So the two seniors will sit here. The red shirt freshman. Alright, so there's an 84 and a 73 there. I think that's fine. I would like to maybe get this 73 actually he can play pretty good center or this guy oh he can too all right we're optimizing the senior movement okay there we go it's the best i can really do ends we have a ton of them 70 sophomore we got a 75 junior. Another junior here. Let him play left. Leave some of these freshmen. He's got 69 speed. He's a better DT. He's an even better DT. Do we need DT? Ooh, no. That's really not optimizing him. He's got both. Pretty good end, but it's better as a DT, better as a DT. Just making sure these guys are in the spots they should really be in too. Yeah, I mean he's probably gonna have to. I mean if I can get a guy that's better than a 72, that would otherwise get hidden. I mean, this guy could probably do it. Yeah, I mean, let's move him out there and leave these guys. So we'll leave that. That's a hell of a competition. Maybe he should have competition from this guy as well. And then we should throw like some of these true freshmen to the left. All right, I think we're fine. Can't really do too much more. All right, you're looking at a sophomore and a freshman lefty. There's a right. There's the middle, so there's not too much you can do with it. We'll leave it, we'll leave that. Ooh, we need another free safety. Can somebody here play free safety? Wow, he's very good at it, so I immediately changed him. Just because he's really good. I mean, they'll all be a little better for doing it, but. I'm gonna move this little freshman, because honestly, he's probably not gonna make it as a. 
All right, we got a freshman kicker in. About all I can do with it. We'll keep those changes, and we will move into training results and see what our squad's looking like right now. Okay. Here we go. Training results. Alright, we got Noodle. A Noodle. Wayne, New Jersey. A little further from me, but he's looking decent. Got some players looking decent at halfback. I don't know the true freshman's gonna make a case that he should be starting. He might right until Bryant's looking awesome. He may be a pro prospect this year. Left tackle got very good. Left guard got very good. The centers are battling it. Right guard's amazing. Alright, we're good here. Linebackers are weak. We have one amazing corner in Sean Chandler. And everybody else is alright. We're okay at free safety. We're good at strong. We're good at kicking punting positions. There's not much we can do. Let's see who we have to cut from the squad this offseason. Who is not going to make it? Ooh, everybody makes it. We only have 69 players out of a possible 70. We didn't recruit that many players. As many as I would have liked to. We're going to go with a completely different outlook. I don't think I did what I've been doing in most of my Dynasty strategies. So we are going to adapt. And I am going to use my main dynasty strategy to get this done. We will come back with an amazing recruiting class. For sure, I will not let us fail this time around. So, I don't want to reset tree. Whatever thing. All right, we're gonna stay where we're at. Everything is gonna stay where it is. That's it. We're staying in the conference and everything. So basically, you guys will get to see um, the preseason episode will probably be a little longer than even this episode more than likely um but the only thing that i will do now is i will set up the coaching trees so i'll do that in this episode i have to set up my offensive coordinator tree so we're gonna do that um i want to do all injury all quarterback and catching one running, probably two catching to go with the quarterback. Okay, and then I want to do a beginning of the season. We're going to start off like gangbusters. Oh, shoot, I messed it up. I'm an idiot. Can I undo? I thought they said I could redo everything. Right? Didn't they say I could? Ridiculous. Alright, never mind. We're gonna do that. And like I said, in the offensive coordinator side, bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. That's what we're gonna do. Yes. Alright, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Temple House Simulation Series. If you have, please drop a like, and if you're new, please subscribe. There's plenty more of this coming your way, and I will see you guys on the very next Temple Owls episode. Until then, have a good one.